Now it's actually the first in what I hope to be many new such downloadable content from my website. I've done many films like this for other companies over the years and I've also done a lot of films for my YouTube content and also for my Patreon. But as I said, it's the first of a series of downloadable uh, films that you can go onto my website, choose a title, pay your money and download and enjoy many times over as you wish. And on the subject of what we're doing, well, it's a watercolour, of course, and it's a lovely beach called Pendawa Beach. I love this place in Cornwall. I have a gallery that sells my art down in St. Moore's. And so every time I get a chance to go to Cornwall, I'm there and I'm doing a lot of plein air. And I also love this particular beach, especially in the morning. It's beautiful. You get the, the, the sun rising, and you get a great contrast between light and dark and warm and cool. And that's what I've tried to really illustrate and drive home in this particular video. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the drawing. Just a few people in. I've added a few more than there are in the photograph and create the idea of white clouds in there. But I think the violet does a very good job also of suggesting the white especially when you come back in with some of the blues as I'm doing now, creating a particular color, test it, have an odd piece of paper to hand, a wasted piece and just try out the different colors. Now I've got to be careful because this is important. This really like that area of sea above has to have blue, but it has to have a lot of white paper. I have to be careful that I don't just paint blue where I need it to be really light. But look how that area now has manifested, how bright the sun is on that water pool. But one or two areas of the green will punch through my ducks. That's the plan. But it's got to be a level of value that is darker. And also you can see here warmer than the long peninsula behind it. But I'm coming in with a few darks. I'm tapping the darks in. And every dark tap that I put in here is suggesting a little bit of mud a little bit of shadow or dark stuff above the water in the in the next layer i think i said that right <laughs> i'm sure i did i think you i hope you understand what i meant by that and i'm suggesting very very fine tassels of grass that are sticking up into the water i'm putting in a little bit of detail along the shoreline a little bit of information underneath the walkers up there and a bit of the rock coming down to meet them so with that all said and done as i say i have had a lot of fun doing this i really do hope that you get something from this video i do hope that some of the tips and the comments that i've made within it really help you in your own artistic endeavors and use the uh, reference to have a go yourselves and enjoy that process. And of course, having the video, you can do it as many times as you want to. I've signed the painting. I'm going to wish each and every one of you happy painting. All the best. Take care, everybody. Catch you in another video soon, I hope. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your